Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today I'm here to share this custom order with you, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as I mentioned, this one here is a custom order. It is based on the original books that I did based on the song by Stevie Nicks called Gypsy. So this is just another rendition of one of those books that I did in that collection. This one is the Dosa Dose binding. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it's really kind of like a big book, <laughs> but um, they're, the books are uh, one signature each. So I just have some red uh, cloth holding it closed. It's stretchy. So here's how the cover looks. I've just done a bunch of layering, of course, as always, using different textiles. There's fun uh, fringe here with some beading on it and then the whole book has all of this at the bottom of it so um, I don't think that was in the frame to begin with but um, there it is it's so kind of looks like that when it's when it's all sitting down okay so to begin I have the little this book belongs to right at the front and I barely just glued the little tips of the, this lace down to make a little pocket so I thought that would be kind of cute. And then here we've got some textiles and I really wanted this book to be centered kind of like around love because her favorite lyric um, in the song actually has to do with love. So I tried to have actually like a lot of love type of um, references in here I guess if you will so that's what I did here some stitching and a little bit of um, applique and some see-through fabric and then some of the pages I just did a little bit of mixed media on them just to have some breathing space in the in the book as well and then here's some really pretty handmade paper and um, I love it because it has this little leaf here inside of it so I think that's really pretty um, lace and paper flowers obviously again is a big running theme with this um, type of book when it's based off of this song. I didn't have any more Phoenix map, but I just put a little map tag in here because Stevie was on the road a lot, you know, she did a lot of touring and a lot of traveling. So I just have a little keep it simple here, some little leaves and things like that and buttons. So here I have a little pocket. As you can see, there's some little, um, just some decoration in there and I later layered it with some fabric and then of course I did do a little bit of stamping in here as well and then I just have these really pretty little flower thingies and I have those being held down with a little wax seal so here we have the big shabby flower that's made out of different um, fabric scraps so really pretty and there's a button in the center and then just a couple little buttons layered on there as well so over here, I have no fear. I only have love. This is the lyric in the song that she really loved. So I just used some stickers and just hand lettered in the rest of the words just to make these words um, a little bit more prominent. So here is the center of the first signature. These are some pressed flowers that I just decoupaged onto the page and then it says gypsy here. And then in the center, I just have this little beaded uh, little tassel piece and it just, just hangs out there. It just looks pretty. And then I like this little lace piece because you can still see her behind it. But um, if you lift it up, there's a picture of this gal, her beautiful flowers, lace and flowers, like I told you. On the side here, I have just attached a little charm, or I guess it's a piece of a necklace, but I guess it kind of functions like a charm. So <laughs> that's what that is. Here, I just put a little tag in so she can do some little writings about things that inspire her or things that she loves about this song or whatever, fun facts about Stevie Nicks, anything that she wants really. So here we just have another pocket, some beautiful lace on the top there and then just some layering in the background and this is one of those text textiles from uh, India. So just some fringe up here, really pretty fabric in the background and um, just layered on some different fabrics and such and then there is some embossing on some of the tags so you can see here this one's a little mousy that's reflective so just a little mixed media here music obviously here it just says cultivate kindness um, 
And then here's the other side of that handmade paper. So here just a tag with a little flower stamped on it. Obviously flowers and lace. <laughs> So this big applique here on the back and then I layered it on top of some more matte paper. And here is another tag that's embossed. There's my stamp. And then I just decided to leave this because the textiles really are gorgeous. So now you just flip it over and we're at a new book, new book. <laughs> And so here, I'll let you see the cover. It's just really pretty, just layered on a bunch of things. I put Cherish on this side, some lace, and I grunged it up. And then there's some bead trim here, pretty little bead trim. And then um, just attached a little piece of uh, metal here. And then on this one, you have the big boho bead. And this one was given to me in Happy Mail, so I decided that it would look really good on this book, and I just added the bells to it, so really pretty. And it's just held on with a garment pin, so if that annoys her, she can take it off. Okay, so opening up on this one, I just have some fabrics layered in, and I just left this kind of like rattered. I really think it adds to the effect for this book, and there's a little charm here with a flower. And then I love this tag because that beautiful piece of um, that lace that I had just cut up and then a little butterfly stamped on there. So just some more of those little flowers here, really pretty lace, doily, I meant doily, <laughs> I know I called that lace. And then there's a little music tag back here. Just a nice little collage and I love this red button so much but I didn't want to let it go but it was meant to be in this book I think <laughs> so here just a little tag with a music note and just some more fabric layerings got a little burlap there some buttons so here I just have this little owl charm he's just kind of clipped on there so he can also be removed and then there's the word love So this was actually a piece of um, like a corset or a wedding dress, like a bodice kind of thing. And so I just kind of cut it down to fit the page and I left the zipper on. So you can unzip this. And then inside you have this pretty gal here. She's got her headband and her little crochet dress on and just really pretty. And then there's a little tag here, stamp on it. And then in the back, I've just attached a couple of like those cool papers that I've used throughout the book, just in case she wants to use these somewhere else for collaging or something. And then of course, some paper flowers and lace. So here's the center and I've just made this envelope out of some scrap fabrics. So she can put something in here, just some book pages. So, just some little fringe here and then on this side another little collage here and here and then I have a big tag with some butterflies on it and then this tag here and I left this here because maybe she would want to write something there like whatever she's going to talk about inside of here so a little place for whatever you want to write in there. So some more collaging and then this is actually um, a shaker pocket and it, I'm not gonna pick the whole book up and shake it you guys know what shakers do <laughs> but there's some actual like little lavender buds in here so I love that so much and then another little tag with a wax seal and I just left it kind of tucked like this because the flowers so again here it says love so here I wrote lace and paper flowers and there's obviously some lace and such on the, on the page.
and just some mixed media here on this page as well and I really like this little fabric piece this is actually a fabric doily right here I just decoupaged it down into the page and gessoed over it a little bit so that's pretty neat and then back here in this little top pocket there's just a couple little pieces of um, for journaling and then here in this pocket I love it because you could see through the lace the little like ferns so pretty and this one is embossed also and that is it again I just left the fabric on there just like that so this is it and um, I really hope that she loves this I always enjoy books like this because it's something that's a little bit different you know something that's just a little bit more like a keepsake and something that's interactive still and has meaning to you so um, yeah I, I really appreciate that she asked me to make to make this for her so thank you so much and I hope you enjoy your book and that is gonna wrap it up for me for now be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.